let's replace this rusted cabinet hinge with a new one. Hmm, the screw won't tighten. This is a loose screw condition, wherein the screw hole of the wood panel has degraded, meaning there's not enough wood fiber to bind to the screw thread. The solution is to plug the holes. You don't need to go to a hardware store to buy dowels. If you have some barbecue sticks and chopsticks lying around in the house, these are very good dowel materials to use. Let's first determine the right thickness. The stick should be able to touch the bottom of the hole. It should also not be too loose. This one can't get all the way to touch the bottom. This barbecue stick can, and it's snug enough. So let's use this to make the plugs. To make the plug, insert the stick until it touches the bottom of the board. At the point where the stick is flushed to the board surface, mark it with a sharp pencil. Then cut it just below the pencil mark. Here I'm using a diagonal cutter. For thicker sticks, you may want to use a small Japanese pull saw to cut. A sharp knife will also do. Let's make the second plug. Then, fill the holes with wood glue or with all-purpose glue. Insert the plugs. If the plugs are protruding, you can use a rubber mallet to hammer it down flush. Then let the glue dry for more than 10 minutes. After which, you may sand down the surface, though this is just optional. And while you're at it, you may want to give this a like and subscribe. Now we're ready to screw in the new hinge assembly to the board. For a do-it-yourselfer, I'd always recommend to use an awl to punch a pilot hole in order to position the screws more precisely. Now we're all set to drive in the screws. Here I'm using an impact screwdriver, which I strongly recommend. You may also use a manual screwdriver as long as you know the correct technique. I have another video showing how. I place the link below. Notice that staccato impact sound at the end of the driving action, which indicates that the screw is tightened properly. By the way, as a do-it-yourselfer, 
I highly dissuade you from using a cheap electric screwdriver. It has not enough power to tighten nor enough power to remove and it most likely will strip the head of the screw. And also, some people use power drills as screwdrivers. I also highly dissuade you from doing this, as you might overdrive the screw, causing the screw to be hard to remove when the time comes, or worse, stripping the head of the screw as shown here. Let's finish up installing this hinge. This slow-mo shows why the impact driver does an effective and reliable job. This is because it has a feedback feature. Whenever it encounters resistance, it stops spinning, at which time it then applies an impact force to the tip simultaneous with starting up the rotation. This prevents stripping of the screw head and also applies the right tightening torque. There you have it. A perfect hinge installation. And please like, subscribe, and hit the bell.